Okay, I'm gonna I'm a I'm a troubleshoot this thing real quick. I I have a bot in my Discord that's supposed to do things when I go live and it did not. I'm a I'm a troubleshoot this hot quick. It didn't do anything. I don't know why it didn't do anything. I don't know why it did do that. Unless I like goofed somehow and then I gave it to the wrong thing. Sure. I don't know. Also, I'm gonna have to put my headphones on, I realize. I'm afraid my my uh my, my music might bleed into my my mic. Maybe it's because maybe it's case sensitive. I type my username in as all lowercase instead of how it's capitalized and whatnot. Although it seems to not matter because it re re put it down again. Mm. 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 Anyway, oh, where's my headphones? Uh. Or are they? Like... Ugh! Yeah. Grab me headphones! Oh, there they are. Way over here. A little stuff. Now that happened. thing started. Give me a hot second. Just one little second. Just one little second. Okay, got swapped. I'm about to turn my audio up. There we go. I'm going to bring up my audio mixer real quick. Do that. Then I can turn this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm just going to tell some other people that I'm online because... That... feel like posting everywhere. That's not my thing. Alright, I'm gonna get started now. So I'm gonna swap over. Oh yeah. I'm gonna leave this music on in the background. About right there. <sighs> Good copy. Alright, so basically I wanted to do some 3D modeling with uh, low poly and whatnot. I'm trying to get some footage for a tutorial video. That being said, I'm going to turn off my... I'll leave it on. It'll be fine. All right, so I'm just gonna do some stuff and we're gonna get working here. So I have a series of objects that are near me that I want to replicate in low poly. One of them being a mug, one of them being a knife. I have a fan, and I have some old, some old medieval sort of cutlery. I wanna replicate. 
So we're gonna just get rid of that. We're gonna add a sunlight. Like this. 45 degrees there. Rotate on the z-axis, 45 degrees. We'll just drag that off somewhere. Now, I'm gonna start off with the mug. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna start with low poly. And I always start for round objects. I use six vertices instead. We're gonna just make that a whole face. We're not gonna worry too much about that. And we're just gonna take this or extrude it up like that. Something simple like that. And since we're doing low poly, we don't really have to worry too much about the detail of the mesh. So then we got that. And we can just take that and roll it down like that. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Hold my mug up to that. Make it a little bit wider. Like that. Oh yeah. This could probably be a bit thinner. All right. Now what I would do here, I would probably split this like that. And we're gonna take these two faces. We're gonna inset them like this. About like that. All right, let's get a definitive number here. Let's get 4.4, 0 0.45, I'll be fine. All right, 0 0.45, like that. Okay. What's up, how you doing? I'm doing some low poly modeling. Uh, let's, yeah, let's bring it in more like that. Okay, so we're gonna take this. We're, I'm making a mug right now, by the way. We're gonna scale this in the Y like that. We're gonna take this out like that. Do you, get, do you see my uh, tutorial video? I don't know if you were here earlier. I played the new intro just out of, out of the blue. I'm doing a, I'm getting a pretty good feel for that. Okay. Extrude that out. Bring it back. Rotate this around the 3D cursor. Yeah, of course I saw it. Awesome. <laughs> All right, we're gonna rotate this about 45. Oh, I see the uh, extrusion didn't work. So, scale that back into zero. Rotate that around the Y, 45, like that. Screw that out. That okay. Rotate that on the Y forty-five in the opposite direction, of course. So we gotta go in the negative. And then if we take these faces, we delete them. If I select them, and then we will take these faces. Can hit Control E and bridge edge loops. Do that. And then what we'll do is we'll drag it out like that. I love the editing and everything you really know about how to make videos like that. I've been making videos for a pretty good long time, but you know, I always end up deleting them because I always feel like, uh, I always feel like, uh, I, they were always hobbyist stuff. Like I did Let's Plays for a while. And then I was like, uh, yeah, none of these are good. And then I deleted them. So. I have a pretty good experience with editing. At least I think I do. Alright. So here we got this. Let's bring this up slightly. Actually, let's take that and this. Go that. It, ah, uh, uh, ah, ah, ah. Like that. And then we'll take this and that. Scale that in like that. Now I'm thinking I'm going to get some more detail here by loop cutting like that, loop cutting like that. Take these edge loops and scale them in the X like that. 
course, that might be a bit cheating. Yeah. Well, oh. We'll just. I got an idea. We'll just take these extra loops and bring them in this way. Ugh. Oh yeah. Now I can maybe. Ah, nope. A little bit like that. There we go. That's fine. Where's this music from? Hold on. Where do I have it? Rhythm Thief. Huh. Cool. But yeah, did, uh, did I show you... Uh, were you here when I played the uh, newest intro that I had for uh, for the tutorial videos I got planned next? Okay. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna pull that up we're gonna have a we're gonna have a full mug of coffee I like that there we go I did not well you're about to see it I don't know why I didn't hear it, but hold on. That's weird. I could have sworn I had it turned on to monitoring. Mo monitoring. I should have been able to hear it, but I didn't. Oh well. All right, so we got our Moog. What else do we want to add? Uh. Hmm. Uh, let's add a bowl. Put that off to the side. I'm gonna add a bowl, so we're gonna. Go to oh. ah, giant mug. We're gonna go to world origin. Ooh, that's some smooth jazz. All right, we're gonna add another circle, about six vertices. Make that. A, we're gonna make this a base. This vertices base. Okay, so to make this work, we're just gonna extrude this up, scale that out like that. Intro sound gave me a huge smile. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, we're gonna extrude this. Okay. Like that. Actually, I got a better idea. Turn on edge snapping. Actually, turn it on instead of just doing the wrong thing. Scale that down. Like that. And then a little bit like that. My phone just jiggled. Why? Why you do this? Ah. I'll throw you on the ground, mister. Yeah. The hand tore the hell out of my hand earlier today. I don't know what, what got into it, but I was, it, it was like all, it was rubbing against me like it wanted me to pet it. And then all of a sudden it just goes, rah, rah, and it just sort of tore straight into my hand. I was not, ha I was not happy about that. Big meaning is what he is. All right, I got my bowl right here for reference. Take a look at this from the side. That's about right, really. Try not to make too much noise moving it. Oh yeah. I wanna see if my nephew is wanting to watch because um, I've been trying to teach him 3D modeling. He is in my Discord that I, I put alerts in, but they don't mean nothing. Alright, we'll select these. Oh, I selected all the wrong vertices. Select that. Bring that in slightly. That's pretty good. 
We're gonna make a breakfast scene, I say. Well, if we're gonna make a breakfast scene, we're gonna have to have the bowl be full, so we're just gonna take these. We're gonna delete these edges. That'd be basically it. That. I feel that's good. Let's give this a material hot quick and we'll give it a red one because I have a red bowl. Put the roughness. Pretty shiny. About yay shiny. And my mug is green. Ooh, I like this jazz. A little bit darker. Like that. Actually, it's probably a, a lot, a lot darker. Every time the PlayStation One intro, I I get an 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 anemia. Well, I hope you don't get anemia. That's bad for you. <laughs> you mean nostalgia? I hope you don't get fucking low blood iron. That's bad, my guy. Okay. Now what I could do for the for the uh, spoon is I could literally just use a plane because it's such a thin object. But at the same time, you know, if this is an up close shot, you want it to be bigger. So. All right, I got me a spoon. Where is it? That's a knife. What you making? A plethora of things. Oh wow, I got all kinds of viewers now, man. Howdy. Everyone popped in. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Nostalgia for a time you haven't even lived in. Oh, is that what anemia and an, 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 anemia that? I mean, that's fair. I mean, I lived it. I played Spyro when I was a, a bad bee. Alright, so for the spun, we're going to take this, we're going to scale this in the Y, a little bit like that. And we're going to scale it in the X, like that. That might be a bit too much. Like that. Alright, so we're going to scale, extrude that out. I'm going to Give it a loop cut right here. We're gonna take these faces. Get rid of that. Like that. All right, so I'm gonna think, I'm gonna take these vertices. We'll do that. Whoop, not that. There's your spun. And I can get some more detail. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take this vertice here. We're gonna scale it in the C axis. Is that where I'm going? What the hell? I don't know where that X axis is. Jeez, man. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a look at it from the top. And we're going to just sort of select all of that. Ah, turn the clipping off, man. It's going crazy. Like that. Now we're gonna take all these vertices. We're gonna move them in the X a little bit. Like that. We're gonna take that. Bring that down. Like that. And we're gonna take these. Is this Mario? No. Oh, no, no, this is like chocobo music. <laughs> okay, so this is a thick ass spoon right here. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna scale that in the Y. Probably scale it more. 
that. We're gonna scale that and then like that. We're gonna take that. We're gonna scale it that way. Uh. Uh. I feel that's good. Unhide all that. All right, now I need reference for my spoon, so that way it isn't all wonky. Okay, obviously my spoon is too thin. Also, I think my, well, hmm. Bring that there, we're gonna scale that down a little bit. Okay, I need to get a 3D cursor mode because that's getting all wonky. But yeah, I mean, I need, I feel it. Like, I feel the need to go back and play some Spyro, man. Problem is that game makes me fucking violently motion sick. Ooh, I get so fucking nauseous playing that game. But oh, I got, I gotta play it. Ow. Oh. Let's make this thinner. Bring that down like that. And I'm gonna look at it from this at this angle. My mouse went off screen real quick. Okay, that bring that up. There we go. That's nice and thin. Okay, so we're gonna go to the new materials. This is a metallic one, so we'll just slide that there. It's pretty shiny. We'll give it a 0.2. I'm gonna set that to. Five. That's my normal preference for a light. All right. Come on now. Why? There we go. All right there. Make sure you ain't poking out the bottom here. That's about right. Okay, I'm gonna swap to local. I believe that's the, yeah, the x-axis. There we go. Okay, so we got our bowl, we got our mug. The pose, what we could do. <laughs> there we go, remove that off to the side. Make a plate now. Uh, Alt G to move that there, and Shift H to hide everything. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going to extrude up, out slightly. Then, like that, like that, get out like that. That go in like that down so we're gonna select that make that a face and I'm thinking we'll do one more extrude inward like this make that a face that's a bit flat we're gonna have that up a bit How's that look for a plate, guys? What do you think? Let's see here. I might add a little bit of roughness, a hair. I don't know if that's enough to tell the difference, really. Slightly. All right, we're gonna go to our image editing. We're gonna set the resolution to 320 by 240. That's the native resolution of the PlayStation. Go in here, we're gonna set the film. To zero. Okay, and there's another thing I want to do. I'm gonna go over here, post processing, hit dead to zero. And that's pretty much it. So if we were to take a look at all this, 
How's that look? It looked like PlayStation a bit. Ugh. Very basic. So if we maybe we can get texturing a bit. Let's make eggs. I taught my nephew how to make eggs a while ago. So we'll make some eggs. All right, we'll hit F. I'm gonna go straight into the sculpt mode. And I'm gonna turn on options. Wait, no, no, here, wireframe. We're gonna take G, we're just gonna, if I can. I'm gonna, hmm, I, I look, I realized I should be labeling things. Eggs. Indeed. All right, so this is Moog. We got a Moog. Over here we got a bowl. Right here we got a spun. Uh, right here we have plate. And right here we have our eggs. Eat me. Hello, I am Kylie Jenner. I am very hungry. Eat me. Has anyone seen that video? I know Branson has. Uh, okay, we're gonna take this. We're just gonna shift H, and we're just gonna. I prefer to use sculpt mode when I, instead of proportional editing like this. Oh, I think I have some kind of, I think I have symmetry turned on. Yeah, I do. I'll take that out like that. Take that, scale that down into Z to flatten it. All right, scale it up. We're just gonna move it like that, make it asymmetrical. And then because we got a yoke, we're gonna scale up like that. Scale that in. We got a nice, uh, what's it now? Sunny side up egg. Like that. Egg. Ooh, some Donkey Kong. Oh! Alright. Eh, like that. Don't hide that. I'll move that, like, right there. That seems good, like, right there? Yeah. Did you make eggs this morning, Branson? I know I taught you. Uh, let's add back in, I guess. All right, we'll just add a plane. Scale down in this direction, rotate it in the Z. Uh, scale it that way. What is, what, loop cut it a few times like that. And then we'll go into the sculpt mode and just, we're just gonna cause some mayhem, right? Just make it, or warble it. Take it, select Z, flatten it. We're gonna scale it up a bit. Take portions like this. And And because the edges, for whatever reason, they're a bit more of a pain, so. Like that. Like that. There we go. No? Didn't make eggs? Or shame. All right, I'm just gonna copy that bacon. Actually, I have a bigger thing. We're gonna take that, we're gonna select that, and we're just gonna delete those. 
we're going to do something called a linked duplication, which means... Oh, hold up. I just realized that the geometry got moved from the origin, so origin to geometry. There we go. So if we hit Alt-D, and we move it, uh, what happens is, is when we go into edit mode, this that one that we just created will copy the geometry of this one. So, technically, we only have to um, texture one thing. So, we're just going to just sort of flop it all around until we get a... Oh, not like that. Okay. That... Uh, Let's make this fit the plate. That. Okay. That. Just to get the cursor there. And then take the 3D cursor and move it slightly up like that. And rotate it like that. There we go. There's our bacon. And we'll add a material to them for bacon. New... Bacon. Mmm, toasty bacon. And for just for the shit of it, make it orange and darker, like bacon. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Like it just popped my fingers. Didn't mean to do it right into the right into the mic. That's good. Uh, what else would be good on a breakfast item? I don't know. Give me some suggestions. I do. I do know I need to add a fork. I'm just gonna duplicate that. We're gonna do this. We're just gonna steal the topology for the fork. So. Spoons are often made similar to forks, so we'll just get rid of that. And if we make this face. Wait. Did I do that right? That's a face. That's a face. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna bring the... A milk carton. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah. How do I want to split this? I think if I let's okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna try some big brain stuff here. Okay, bring that in. Bring oh, bring that in. Bring ah ah oh hey ah, oh ah ah there we go. Like, don't, don't, like, don't drink the milk, but, like, eat the carton. <laughs> Are we gonna make this a very surrealist breakfast? Okay. If I take this, this edge, I split it. And first of all, we're just gonna we're just gonna delete those edges. We don't need them. Okay. So if we take this, we're gonna hit mesh, uh, symmetrize across the Y. It's like plus Y to that. No. It's uh, plus Y to Nick. Yeah, 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 that. Extrude that out. Merge at center. 
Not like that. Oh. <laughs> That's how we'll do it. Y zero. There we go. And if we hit Alt M, merge by distance. Okay, so now we have our four prong four areas to make our prongs. Scale and the X. Like that. Yeah. Take that, hit F. Take that, hit F. And we're just gonna take these faces. Oh, what have I done? That, 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 and that. Shoot that down, bring that down like that. Gotta take this whole edge loop. Bring it down like that. We're just gonna take these and scale them in a bit like... Oh yeah, like that. Yeah. I think what we would have to do... Hmm... Do that like that and scale and, well. We're just gonna, hmm. I think we're gonna have to do that trick again. We could do that trick again. I don't know if we want, if I wanna. I don't know if I wanna. Okay. What if I do individual origins? Would that do it? No. I have to do it individually. Okay, we'll just set the thickness to 0 0.03. Uh, I. 0 0.03. That. Uh, 0 0.03. I'm gonna figure out a way to make this work. Do that. 0 0.03. Okay, so we take these faces out in this direction. Well, it does work. On their own origins. Individual origins, scale them. In. Yeah, scale them zero in that direction. Scale them less in that direction. And these faces here. You need to go out in the Y a little bit more. We're going to take this edge here, this edge here, and we'll scale it to Y if we can. Oh, we still have a minute. Yeah. There we go. There we go, that's good. That's pretty good. Why is this doom music? Like, like it's like doom jazz. Not like the game doom, but like, I don't know why it's... Yeah, it's the jazz of the 220s. Some shit. 
Hold on, I got a fork somewhere. Ah, there you are. Oh, I didn't mean to make that kind of noise. Huh. That's not the shape I was expecting. Okay. Well, the fork actually curves upward a bit. Ah, we have the dummy thick fork again. Even though it does curve down, it also does that. That. That's probably proportional, but now I have to bring that up. Like that. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do some stuff to clean this up a bit. I'm gonna take this vertice. We're gonna dissolve that edge. Whoop. Dissolve that vertice. Oh. If I do that, that'd probably be more what I would want. Bam, bam. They got some punch out music going. Hey, is my audio off? Like, like am I off sync slightly? Like, it, it'll feel really weird if I'm like fucking singing to the song and I'm like off by like 200 milliseconds or something. Also, sound like shit. Oh yeah, that's a good fork. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a good fucking fork. Alright, uh, origin to geometry. I guess that's where a majority of the geometry is, I guess, but, like... That's not where the... That's not where the, uh, what's it now? Center of mass is. So we're gonna select these faces, and then we're gonna select this edge loop like that that's where we'll set the origin fuck i just clicked away okay objects that origin the 3d cursor and that seems about right oh yeah okay we can turn on snapping snap to face like that that all right I got a plate here I gotta figure out whether or not my proportions are correct otherwise it'll look wrong oh! It slipped right out of my hands. A bit small. I hope I didn't. Did I scuff up my desk? No, I don't think I did. Oh, good, yeah, like that. Oh, a little bit more. That's perfect. How's that look? It's working. Eh. We're gonna have to texture all this stuff here very shortly. Oh yeah, I'm gonna set my camera so we can see a little bit more. Since this what I would be considering an interior, we'll set this to a wide angle, like 18 degrees. 
18 millimeters, I should say. That's the angle that we're using. And we can pull in. Ah, oh, not that much. Like that. And then we'll pull that up a little bit like that. I'm gonna go into the viewport display. I'm gonna turn on compositional guides and I like to use thirds. There we go. So we select this, we set the cursor to center. I'm gonna add just like a circle here. This will be for camera control. Like that. Set up a new collection. This will just be for knickknacks and whatnot. Awesome. Oh, no, it's big render time. Oh yes, it's big render time. Oh boy. I saw some guy. He did a like it was on it was on Reddit. Like he said, like he did a fucking fifteen thousand plus samples render in cycles. I'm like, you fucking madman. Why do you need that many? That why do you need that many uh, samples? Where did my audio go? Hold up. I got I got to reset my headphones. It does this sometimes. <laughs> There we go, there's my music. There's my beautiful music. All right, we're gonna parent this to this circle. And we're going to, just for the, just for later. Oh, this is Chrono Trigger music, nice. Uh. I'm a, uh, I've been I've been using 24 frames a second for a while now. I'll just keep using that. Negative 360. That's my preferred rotation. There we go. To take this, and we'll set the interpolation to linear, so that way we get a loop when we render it. Set this to 240. Then when we play it. We render. We notice. This is what we get. Ooh, pumpy poppy bones. Oh god. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, I got a, a notification. What did I get? Ah, I messaged a guy on Reddit because he he posted a thing that I thought looked really cool, and uh, I I wanted to put it on my uh, the PlayStation the PlayStation uh, subreddit PlayStation graphics subreddit. That's what it was. Okay, exit that now. Go back to layout. We gotta have a table. Uh, let's see here now. I'll move the camera into the collect second collection. <laughs> the fork is named Spoon One. No, oh, that's a fork, my guy. I'll move the sun to the second collection as well. Bacon. All right. Uh, let's add a new collection inside this collection. I'll just be bacon. And we can close that up, and there's your bacon. All right, gonna add a table now. I hit this. We're gonna go panel plane, and we're gonna scale this out like that. Oh, where did my plane go? There's my plane. I must have hit high on accident. Oops. You know, I need. I need. A, I should set up my units. That's something I've neglected for a hot minute now. Units, metric, set that to imperial. And we got feet. Okay. What fresh hell have I done now? <laughs> so this plate is 20 feet wide. So that's cool. We're gonna scale everything down now. Just so that way we can get it all to fit. Center here. Uh, 
I'd like to keep my stuff accurate. That's five feet across. Okay. Let me think here. This plate is about eight inches across. So, let's see here now. Five times 12. Divided by eight. So if I scale by, scale by 7.5. That should theoretically be the size I want it to be. Point six nine feet. I think it's about right. Point six nine times twelve. Point two eight. Yep, that's that's correct. Okay. Let's move this to the world origin. Uh, we'll just hit at Shift S. Keep cursed out. That. Yep. Okay. We'll just delete that. That. Okay. That. Let's scale in, like, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll just scale. Like that. That's about low. Oh, yeah. Oh no, it's clipping through the mug. Yeah, the moment we start having clipping issues is bad, bad time. I brought my camera too close to that, I think. Alright. There we go. Let's set up, let's now set up our, our, our desk. <laughs> Look at how close that camera is. Get on out of here. Okay. I don't want this camera control to be selectable because it's cause problems. Turn that off. There we go. Okay, now if we turn... Did I delete that? I think I might have. Oh, I'm, I'm creating those planes in the fucking bacon. No, no, no. Delete. Move that out. Close that. There. This will be evil. This table is not made of bacon. I refuse to make my table out of bacon. That's just silly. Do it now. Why did my music fucking died on me? Got it. Jeez, man. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let's do this real quick. Yeah. Oh, there. Okay. So we select all that. If we hit snap to facing and just, we can just pop it down on the table like that. All right, now our table. Kind of hard to eat while kind of hard to eat your food if your table is, you know, your food's all the way in the center of the table. We're gonna set them like that. Alright. Let's select this edge here. 
put that there, and we take this, and now scale it like that. Scale on the Y. And we take it, we hit Control A, and scale, apply scaling. So when we did that, it would think that our render is, you know, it would think that our uh, thing is actually smaller than it currently is. With that, we can now begin and set up our table. So we're just gonna take, we're gonna set up a very basic coffee table. So we're just gonna scale it down. I'm gonna take our thing and we're gonna swap. I go to my units. I want to be able to know how to measure things. I'm gonna uh, mm, separate units. This could help. I'll just delete that face. Yep. Do that. Uh, scale. I'll have this be one inch. Come on. Of course, I can't put it. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna inlay it about yay. Through down. Negative 20. Yeah, negative 20 feet. Negative two inches. I think we'd uh two point two point seven five like that. And then we're going to inlay it again. Um what's two by four? Is it one point I don't I I had the dimensions of uh dimensional wood, but I can't remember. Uh one second. Dimensional wood. Uh, I need to know the dimensions of. Ah, here we go. We have a we have a little chart. So these would be two by fours. So this would be one and a half. Okay. One point five inch. Like that. Gonna that and select that. We're gonna bring. Huh? That turn on. We're gonna have to bring this down about another inch. Oh. Okay. Swap this back to edge, extrude, and we'll snap it right there. There's our table face. Now, if we go here, we're gonna add a plane, and these are going to be about 2.5 inches. Huh? Gonna snap it against like that. Move the cursor there. We're gonna set the origin to the 3D cursor. So that way, when we turn on a mirror modifier, that, we extrude this down. We're gonna go 2.5 feet. I always send it in the wrong direction. Negative two feet, like that. And we're gonna mirror it in the Y as well. And we're gonna hit apply, and then we're going to join it with table. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking good. <sighs> All right, we're gonna go into the table. We're gonna apply. 
We're gonna do a new material. I'm just gonna make it brown for now. And like a, like a nice dark wood. I like that. Uh, let's make it rough. So it's not wood, right? But it's got like shellac on it. So we're gonna turn on clear coat. I think that would work. Doesn't seem to do much. All right, mesh, uh, normals, we calculate outside. Yeah. Clear coat don't seem to do much. Not really. I'm gonna do some extra stuff because I like a little bit of extra flavor in my thing. We're gonna turn on subsurface scattering, turn on refractions. <laughs> and we can see some refractions going on and off there. We can see it off the plate and whatnot. I don't know how rough that bug is. Not that rough. We'll give it about. Yeah, we'll keep it at point. Got that. Now our bacon. That's not really, uh, but it is got like a glistening of like grease and shit on it. So we'll turn on clear coat. However that works, I'm not entirely sure. Of course we got our metal here. See how, just how reflective that is. If we were to shade it smooth. Object, shades, ooh. And we're gonna set up a render real quick just to get a feel for what that looks like in such low resolution. Where is it output? TMP? Yeah, we're gonna set this up in our tutorial thing. And we'll set up a folder. This will be breakfast. Type in breakfast demo. That'll be fine. All right, and we're gonna go over here. We're gonna set the file format to FFMPEG. We're gonna go to encoding. We're gonna set it as MPEG4 codex H264. We're gonna set the quality to lossless. We're gonna set the encoding to slowest because even though that our render thing is super small. We can still get away with, you know, higher quality rendering. So if we do a render. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna shade the uh, bowl and the uh, the mug smooth as well. Object, shade smooth. How's that look? Let's render that again. Definitely see some shining off of it. Like that. The inside of the bowl. We're gonna change that when we add our cereal. This has its own material, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to give it a new material. It's gonna be called egg. We're gonna add a carton of milk. We're gonna just put a cube here. Way too damn big. Let's see here. I have a carton of OJ somewhere. I'm gonna go find it. Hold on.
actually I threw away that carton of OJ because uh, we cleared it last time. So I have with me a half gallon milk, which is similar. So this here looks to be about four inches wide. It'll go four, four inches like that. And that's about two feet. It's about a foot tall. So up to face like that. Now, this thing's a bit interesting. I'm gonna. Okay, so if this is four feet, we're gonna move this up two inches. Wants to move it by feet, but that's not what I put it in. Two inches. Now take this, and we're gonna add some beveling. We're gonna take these edges right here, bevel it slightly like that. Now, if I bring it in like that, okay, like this, put that in, Something interesting happens here at this edge right here. What happens is it rips, comes in like that, and this stays down here. About like this. Okay. So that's an edge. Oh, 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 oh. Take that. We're going to scale that in the Scale it. Add a face. We'll just make that a face and that a face. That's fine. That. Bring it up like that. Extrudes up. And we're gonna set a rotation point right here. I can select the edges that I want. Like that. Like that. I'm gonna rotate. It's gonna be hard to get this perfect. Take this, select right here. Like that, take this face, that face. We're gonna delete only the face. Select that, and that, and we're going to hit control bridge edge loops, 
five to get out of this mode and get back into perspective. I'm just trying to get the topology at the moment, and I can worry about proportions here and later in a second. LP. Indeed. Okay, we'll set that there. Turn that off, man. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna go put the milk back because I got it. Ah, oh, jeez. This edge. That. That. Black. Those two edges. That. Kind of right, not perfect. Okay. Now, I gotta fix the proportion. So, back to edit mode. We're gonna select these edges, deselect all that. That down, that. That, that, just like that. That. So, this brings comes down like that. That can come up some. This needs to come. It needs to come towards this. So we're gonna take that. Bring it forward like that. Now, what would happen if I said went into sculpt mode? It's mo oh, not too good, not too good. Okay, let's do normals. Calculate outside. <laughs> kind of a cheat. Kind of worked.
Okay. Let's select this face right here. These set of faces right here. Gotta take these. Oh. My bad. I don't know how you didn't move. Cursor just selected. Select these and these and bring them. Toaster. That, that. Okay. Go back to sculpt mode. Touch that up, touch that up, that up. So. Okay. Take this, we're gonna hit proportional editing. Or oh, like that. That, like this ring, that. That's fair, that does need to move forward. Oops. Like that. <laughs> Get out of that. Scale zero, flatten it. Just do some quick corrections. Oh. I like that. I'm gonna have to swap the bound cursor mode. Scroll Z like that. Scale Z. Damn it! Get out of that mode, man. Scale Z, that. Scale Z, that. That. In Nino Poly, both Genesis Classic. needs to come in like that that huh that needs to come in there you go That seems pretty good. Object shade smooth. I think the cap might need to be a bit bigger. Straighten that up a bit. Oh, whoa, I mean, 
No, I don't want that. Okay, we're just gonna go around and we're just gonna select those ring of faces. You select that and that. And if we go to individual origins, if we hit scale X zero, scale Y zero, we just smooth those. Why are you not participating? There you go. It was being a bit stubborn. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I feel that's pretty good. That. Pretty cursor. No problems there. I don't think I need to move those. Those I feel need a little bit. That's probably. <laughs> yeah. See, the camera passes right through it. Where is the camera anyway? There you are. Now we ain't clipping. Okay. This material ain't particularly rough. Very dull plastic, so let's set it like that. How much of this could I get rid of and still have it look fine? Let's dissolve those vertices. Oh. Dissolve edges? Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Good stuff. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's save before we crash and have problems. I oh well, I'd have an aneurysm. Okay, we are in. Go up. We're in Blender 2.8. We'll go to projects. PS1 S graphics. We'll start a new folder. We'll call it. Breakfast. I don't think I saved it in the place that I intended to. No, I did not. Nor did I save it in. Breakfast that way. There you go. Okay. I feel we got enough stuff to work with here to make um, 
So that way we can we can just get we can get uh, UV wrapping now. I don't feel I need to add much of any more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can add an orange. Oh yeah, getting orange in here. So I'll just take this segments five, six segment. Uh, radius. Oh. Rings about. Alright, we're gonna take it, we're gonna scale it down like that. Take all that, scale it like that. Like that. That'll probably be fine. There's your orange. Oh, it's a part of the, uh, I made it a part of the milk box, my bad. Okay, objects, that origin, the 3D cursor, perfect. Alright, so the base color, orange, oh no. Okay. This is currently milk. Now let's duplicate this, and then this is orange and this is <laughs> oh I still have that selected do I you cheeky bastard orange Like that. Okay, turn off wireframe. Oh, yeah. I think I need to up, uh, turn up my shadows. They're a bit low poly. They're a little bit low quality. How do I go about doing that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Shadows? Yeah, shadows. I'm gonna go with higher, higher quality shadows. Just a bit. Alright, let's render one more time to get a feel. Seems pretty good. There we go. Okay, I gotta get UV wrapping. Okay, go to UV editing mode. That's right, that's a very basic thing. I don't need to UV wrap that. This I will, though. Um, I'll just mark that as a seam. Unwrap that. How's that work? Probably very basic, and I don't gotta worry too much about it. View. Uh. 
Overlay, stretching. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. No problem there. Okay, the ball. We'll just cut that entire top out. That's going to be cereal. And we're going to just... Uh, hide. We're just going to hide that. Alright. I take that. We're gonna mark that. Get rid of that. That comes out. I'd say we just mark that whole seam and just unwrap that. And I'm just gonna select all these. Oh. We're just going to go along this whole thing like this. Just hit mark seam. And that gets me about what I want. Select all that, we'll swap to 2D cursor mode, the cursor set to 0, 0. UV map constrained to image bounds, we'll stretch that as much as we can. That'll be good. We can just pin that, that'll be fine. Go over here to our mug, basically do the exact same thing. Select that, mark that, hide it, go down there. Damn it, can I? Please! Oh my god. Control E. My goodness. Having so much trouble. Alright, now we gotta find a place to mark a seam all the way up the top. We'll just take this, mark that as a seam, and we'll cut the handles off like this. Mark that, unwrap. Okay, we're gonna take. We're just gonna go around this entire face like that. Wireframe, we're gonna deselect a lot of that. Yep. Go to this mode, we'll swap to edge select. That. And if we hit. Okay. It might have been easy to go around that like that. Get rid of that. Then we'll just cut all that off. Now mark that. Hit unwrap. Like that. Like that. There we go. Nice. Okay. We're just gonna take that. We're just gonna hit mark seam. Unwrap that. That's fine. I could do a little bit something extra though. Oop. Found image. In. See what happens when I hit unwrap then.
It doesn't really matter. So I'll just hit Alt P. Unwrap. There we go. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Move that, move that there, move that there, move that there. Okay. Save that. That's already had. That already has a projection. Let's hide everything that's got. A, uh, that's been UV wrapped. The bacon is going to be pretty easy to UV wrap, and we only have to UV wrap one of them because we linked them. So if we mark that seam, let me go along the top if I can select it. that and like like that mark seam we unwrap hmm that's not I'd rather not do that clear that we're gonna go up this side good There we go. That gave us more space. Uh, I don't need to UV wrap those. They're so basic, they don't even need it. Okay, well first of all, we're gonna need to cut the handle off here. Like that. Down a side here. Pop the top off of that. Mark those seams. This. We're gonna mark that as a seam. That. Just do that. Huh, they're still connected. That 90 degrees, that 90 degrees, that 90 degrees, that 180 degrees, bring that there. Let's figure out what's going on. 
What face is that? That side. No ground is it. What side is this? This side, we're gonna move that right. And we're just gonna put this side right. This side. This side. All that. There. Corner. This. There. That there. I, I'm perfectly fine with having seams like that. Not bothered. Thank you. S. I gotta fix my music again. There we go, there's my music. Well, I suppose we'd go into texture painting now. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go new, we're gonna go milk. And this would be 256 by 256. And we're gonna go with a white of some sort. Like that. I go down here, set the, we're gonna set the, this to a text, image texture, and we're gonna use milk. Now, the color of the cap is this color. That, that's pretty good. I'm pretty certain that there was a, logo. Oh yeah, <laughs> put this to close it. Now we're gonna go over here to the... I don't know, I'm in the wrong space. We're gonna go over here to the stroke, we're gonna set this to the line, and then we're gonna go to the fall off, we're gonna set this to flat, so that way when you do stuff it's very pixely, like that, and very strong. Now, where is this at? That side, okay. So. Oh, I didn't realize my rush was that big. Bring that down. There we go. Well, that's some Sonic music, I didn't even realize. It's Green Hill Zone, I think. Oh, I'm in the wrong area. <laughs> Down like that. And let's just go here. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh, my audio is synced up. That feels really embarrassing. But... Okay. Here, we're gonna go to line. We're gonna cut this off a bit. That. There we go. I'm move it a little bit. That's good. Bruh, my music cutting off is really pain. I need to give you headphones, I think. Something that's a little... Ah, my knee. Ow. Something a little bit less intrusive. <laughs> I, th I have a funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. 
All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna say we're gonna tell everyone that this is milk. Milk. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit more since there should be some subsurface scattering in there. That. Do I have ambient occlusion turned on? I do. Oh yeah, I want I want there to be some ambient light like that. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add something. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a skybox. So we're gonna add a UV sphere. Gonna hit Alt G and we're gonna scale it up nice and big like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here. We're gonna add a new material. This is going to be sky. And we're gonna set this color to be some like, well, I guess it don't matter because we're gonna swap to emissions and it's gonna set its own thing. But now we're gonna set this to a color we want. Let's go. What, what's a breakfast color? Anyone got a breakfast color? Oh yeah, give me a, oh, oh, give me a hot pink. Oh. Ooh, hot pink. All right, how's that look in the render? Very low quality, obviously, but not there yet, obviously. Pink! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, pink! Okay, we're gonna do a new texture here. This will be Mug 256 for PlayStation 1 graphics. Uh, let's go over here. This is mug. Base color, texture. We're gonna set this to mug. Or else I should also go over here to milk. We're gonna have to save this. So the milk is just there for now because I'm lazy. So we're gonna hit save as. Okay, the breakfast, we're gonna make a new folder we'll called textures, and this is where we're gonna save our stuff. There's mu uh, oh, excuse me, milk. Oof. How are you guys following along so far? I'm assuming this is like, you know, Bob Ross where you you, you paint along, right? <laughs> okay, I gotta figure out which one must okay. I think I know which one must be coffee. We got mug. Let's swap to mug. Me thanks coffee. Uh. Hey, my audio dude is. Every fucking second, I have to turn my headphones off to just turn listen to my music. That's like Bob Ross. Yeah. So frustrating. My my headphones keep uh like I don't know why it's some I mean they're great for jogging in because uh when Spotify plays an ad they cut the it, it cuts out the ad because it just cuts the feed on them for whatever reason I don't know why but it's a nice it's nice for that but when it comes to YouTube not so good not so good all right we gotta get a rich dark brown. That. Okay. Gotta go to space. We're gonna have to do a little bit more work for this because, yeah. We're gonna add a 
roughness. 256 by 256. There's this, so we're gonna go into the mug roughness, and because this is a liquid, uh, the fluid is going to be pretty reflective, so we're just gonna color that in like that. That's pretty good. We're just gonna take this and we're just gonna... Oh, that... Nope. That ain't the color I wanted. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get a mug. What color should the mug be? What do you guys think? I'm gonna add some extra details in here. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna make a... What's it? Stussy? Soft, hard. Uh, blue. Yeah, we got we got we got a pretty we got a, got a aesthetic like that going on. All right, what color? But we wanted to. Should we have it like a nice sky blue or like a deep blue? Like it like it hurts your eyes blue. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's so fucking blue. Bang, right? Oh yeah. Oh, that's fucking blue right there. Eye hurting blue sounds great. Awesome. Man, that sacks. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a good saxophone. Okay, where was I? I was making something. Was it cell? Huh. That's interesting. Uh, the normal. Oh, that might be bub. That might be good bubbles. Okay. Now, um, distance. That kind of makes like a scales. Yeah, it's kind of scaly looking. Oh, that's colorful. Minkowski? Man, this is a great playlist. I like this. Hmm, groovy. There we go with white. Okay. Let's go with texture, we go with that, and we'll go with this. Okay, so where exactly are my... Uh, kind of what I figured. Now let's change up ours. This, we're gonna go to sharp. We're gonna go around the rim. Copy like that. Actually. Once upon a time, Bobby went to the store. Oh. Once upon a time, Bobby went to the store. He bought apples and bananas, and he went home and said it's big brain time. What's your fascination with that story? You're at, it's like, oh yes, it's big brain time. I guess you really like Markiplier. It's a great story. I never heard it, I suppose. Gotta take your word for it. Gotta go through this with the roughness, like that. Okay, now. I made the story. Oh, that's one. We're gonna go to Moog. That's not. That don't look. Pretty, that don't look all right. All 
Okay, I mean, I'm, I've scaled it in the wrong direction. Gonna copy and paste all those values. So it's gonna go around the edges like that. Gonna smooth it. These are the bubbles in the coffee, right? Spit some cream or... I guess. I go into here, roughness. Blur that around a bit. Okay. Now, this coffee needs some steam. We're gonna add plain. And we're gonna do a little bit something special if we just... We're gonna go to object constraint. If we hit track two, and we select the camera. Like that. By, what's it now? Uh, might be a bit too close. Rotate my that might be it. That's what I need. There we go. So if we follow this. There you go. Yeah, you see how it follows the camera like that? Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little bit something else. Okay. So we're gonna go into materials, we're gonna hit new, we're gonna name this Steam. We're gonna make a new image. This is Steam, S2 team, Steam, like that. Now, we're gonna have to do something a little bit different. We're gonna go into the, first of all, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna change the mode from blending to erase alpha. We're gonna, what's my fall off? Sharp, we're gonna change it to flat, and we're just gonna get rid of everything. Not like that. That, there we go. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna hit uh, texture. We're gonna set this to steam. We're gonna go into shading real quick. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna attach alpha into the alpha, like that. Oh. There we go. And then we're gonna go have to go to materials and we're gonna have to tell it that it is gonna be hashed. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into texture painting. I'm gonna do a little bit stunting like this. So if we, where's the normals for this? Did I unwrap? Oh! Oop me. Hi, Mexel. Howdy. Oh, hello. I'm still in... Oh, I'm still in Erase Alpha. Big brain. Okay, so if we hit Texture, Texture. Close that. Texture map, Texture. We'll just add some stuff like this, right? If we... We're gonna also... Eh, that looks kind of crappy. Where's my thing? It's very, this isn't as easy to work with as GIMP, but I at least get there, right? Into aliasing. Well, first of all, I get here. This. Oh, this is. Oh, Phoenix Wright music. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's uh, because I still have a texture applied. Get rid of all that. That. 
Now if we go into we're gonna we're gonna smear this in a bit. Sort of mystify it. Gotta take smear tool. What's my if we just we're just gonna Whoa. <laughs> Plot back to the race. Just gotta make some mist like that now. Yeah, let's erase a little bit. Give some more space for some wiggles. Yeah, like that. A little bit off the edge there. Some managed to pop through. We can see that there. We got some mist coming in. Trail that off a bit. Okay. I might, what I have to do is if I go, I'm gonna change the fall off to sharp. Too sharp. Whoa. Watch. Here, got down a good bit. That, how's that look? We can see some steam from over there. Oh yeah, looks like steam. It's not animated, but it will follow the camera and it'll look like steam's coming from the mug. See the steam kind of coming through like that. That works. Okay, let's do some more texture painting. We're gonna do our eggs now. So we're gonna add a new image. We're gonna go texture, new eggs. Now I'm going to need to look at some fried eggs real quick to make sure I get my references down. Fried eggs. Oh. Oh yeah, that's some good fucking eggs. Oh yeah, that looks like some good fucking eggs. Okay. So. I'm going to go over to eggs. So. Uh, before I get going with the eggs, I'm gonna take... We're just gonna take this face. I'm gonna move it out of the way so that way it don't bleed over. Ah, Ecosia, I see. Yep, I'm a eco-friendly boy. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna swap to this, we're gonna go over here. We're going to add a texture of this, and we're going to put this texture mask on, and if I just... Oh, I have Erase Alpha on. Don't want that. Oh, more... Ooh. Ooh. Got more of that. So good and tasty. Gotta kiss the just gotta kiss the edges a hair. Kiss the edges just like that. 
yolk is a little bit like that. Slightly. Slightly in the orange. Oh. Gotta get rid of. Did I get rid of both those textures? No. It's hiding. It's hiding. Like that. Now we're gonna have to clean that up a good bit because that is a very, very blurry egg. We're gonna go into flat. Uh. That. That works. Certainly getting there. Got the gotta add some bubbles. And add a little bit of orange color just in general to the egg. Right. Just add a little bit of this color. I believe there is a mode that would be helpful here. I believe, let's see here. Mix, I believe it would be Dodge color. Color? Kiss it a little bit around here with this color. That. All right, now what would happen if I just we're gonna sample that color? We gotta make some bubbles. How we go about doing that is a different question. Uh, Gimson, get that out of here. Can't even see the chat. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good, that's a good egg. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a, I'm gonna pop a roughness on there. That is not the right thing. And here, here, roughness. Yeah. Go to the eggs roughness. Now, I'm gonna say that this egg is mostly rough. But, that egg yolk? We're gonna say that egg yolk's a bit glossy. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, we got some... Oh yeah, that's a good egg. Let's look at that fried egg reference. that up. How's that look? Well, from there that looks pretty good. Oh, I just struck a nerve in my leg, I think. Oh, I just felt a tingle down my leg. I didn't adjust good. All right. Let's make these bacon crispy. Get rid of all that. Okay. New texture, new... Uh, bacon. Mmm, toasty bacon. Like that. And... I'm gonna have to go through and save all of these textures. Save egg roughness. If I hit save all, would that, would that, would that do it? Save all images. 
that's my that's my that's where I'm sending it. Where's it going? Nope, I'm gonna have to save them all by hand. Please don't crash before I do. Okay. Save bacon. Go to egg roughness. Save. Eggs. Save. Milk. Save. And go mug. Save. I guess it's saved somewhere. Mug roughness. We're going to save that. Go in team. We're going to save that too. Where are you safe? Okay. Well, I have no idea where these have been saved to, so that's cool. All right. We're just gonna have to do this meticulously now. So, do this. I don't know why that happened. Milk, save that. Yeah, sometimes the blender don't do the right thing. A bit annoying. Oh well. Save as that. Go to bug roughness. As. Go to theme. Save as. Okay. I'll do a little bit more finagling in a bit. Oh, that egg looks tasty. That's okay. Let's we'll see if any if anyone needed to ring me. I have my noise canceling headphones on, so if I did, I wouldn't be able to hear it. Some people need to contact me for reasons. Okay. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to texture the orange first since the orange is pretty easy and I need to get one last texture on before I have all the textures ready. So we'll do this, we'll hit new. This will be orange. Like that, and we'll set the color to orange. Like that. Hit okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to be taking this footage and I'm going to be editing it later to make the tutorial that I want to do that I'm going to be posting on Reddit. Okay, so let's swap to orange. We're going to go here. We're going to hit texture paint. All right. Okay, gonna go down here. Point. Guy. And we're going to open up that. We're going to hit that and that. There we go. One more thing. That so that way it can't ever be selected. Uh, that's pretty. Okay, let's get an orange for reference. Hmm, orange. Okay. Go to texture paint mode. We're gonna hit this. And the first thing I think I want to try to do go to if I do that, that do 
doing a little bit of talking to myself now. I'm gonna put on sharp. How's that look? That might make good pits. Okay. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do something a little special. I'm gonna make a texture just so that way I can do something with this so that way I can make my own texture. So this will be orange pips. And it don't matter how what resolution. There we go. Start it with black. Yep. And there we go. We have orange pips. We'll go here. Okay. Tools. I hit paint. Now. We're going to have to go into our brush here to our stroke. We're going to add a good bit of jitter. Go on that. Not really. Oh, that's why. Okay, so jitter. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. That'll probably be fine. Any thanks? So if we do that, and that. Now, if we go back to here, if we go to mix and do subtract, might be a bit too small. I might. Yeah, my pips are too small. That can't do much for that. Okay, try it again. Can't go all got kind of going all over now. Okay, I think my that's too much. stream okay at this point i'm very tired and i will leave up oh, sorry man you have a good you have a nice sleep there we go got some pips there let's turn get her back down there there and there okay Let's try using this as a texture. Might work now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Subtract. A bit too much, but if we just scale it down. Kiss it a little bit, just like that. Yep. Go back to orange. And see that there's some of what we need. I'm gonna obfuscate it just a hair. Like that. And then we're gonna go into the green. We're gonna get into the green now. Mix. Go this. 
a little bit lower, a bit lower. Yep. Pick up the top here. We're gonna turn on symmetry and the X and Y. So if I start making shapes. Uh, Okay, modeling. Certainly looks like an orange. Okay. Let's go to texture painting and we'll I'm gonna texture paint this on this little mother, this mother right here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna hit apply texture. We're gonna do a new texture. Do 56. Copy paste. I'm gonna make it red because the original color was red. Yeah. Go to titled. We're gonna save this as oval. And speaking of saving, let's save that. There's bowl. We're gonna go to orange. We're gonna save that as well. And one thing that I want to do, we're gonna go here. See precisely where we need to get rid of well here this is the top of the bowl and that's where our milk is so we're going to go over here and we're going to paint this all in i'm going to set my brush where is it i'm in oh i'm in edit mode no that, that don't help here to fall off. We're gonna set this to heavy. Fill that all in. Just like that. Okay. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Okay, let's be sure to save. Save that. We're gonna save all images, actually. Oh, I guess it, it won't let me, so I suppose not. Let's give it a render. How does it all look together? Starting to look pretty damn good. Also, shiny is an orange. Oh god. Get the fucking nerd, get that fucking shit out of here. Okay, well an orange is actually pretty shiny. So. Let the jazz wash over. All right, how's that look? This is it, right? Yeah. Oh 
Oh yeah, that looks like breakfast right there. I wonder. Can I steal a texture? Let's see. Do we have cereal texture? It'd be great if we do. We do. <laughs> well then. I'm not opposed to that. I'm lazy. Okay, so it'd be under Blender 2.8. Project. Be PS1 aesthetic. Breakfast texture. I'll just save that as that. Do we have bacon as we do? Alright, let's look at some bacon. Red speaks down the bacon. I think I need to get rid of these textures for now. It's making the color darker than what I actually want it to be. Music died again. On the headphones. Cut out my music. There we go. Not much. More saturation. Oh, more brightness is what I wanted. Yellow, more yellow. More yellow, but less saturation. That. I just think. Oh, not that. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. 
some of that throw some of that together a bit and we're gonna go over it with a textured brush to give some stuff to it that we like that add we want a little bit like okay, we're gonna swap the brush to a sharp one. That's my preferred brush. That, I'm just gonna show it. Actually, uh, I wish I had it on a different thing. I would take the white knight smear it this way. Kinda works. That looks pretty good. didn't work like I thought it would. Eggs are done. Well, I mean, the bacon is done. Save all images. Go over to egg. I'm gonna, I want to add a little bit of yellowness to all of that. That's right, I have a fucking texture brush on. Ah, I keep forgetting! The UI for doing that is not even that intuitive, so I don't feel too bad. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
now. Let's worry about it. Save all images. Now, if we go over here to bowl, edit external. Image editor cannot be launched. Ensure what? Oh, that's right. I did restart. I did restart. Uh, yeah. Well, this is a good thing for the tutorial to show when I do it. Would be the file paths. Image editor. Yes. I believe I put it in the C drive. I believe it's in program. This, GIMP2, bin, and then EX. There we go, that's it. I'm gonna click up here, and then hit save preferences. That should fix it. Now, there we go. That fixed it. We're gonna need to know exactly where this is at, so we're going to go into UV editing mode. We're going to export the UV layer. Oh. Bowl UV. And then if we go back here, we can just slap that in here. Like that. Now let's let's take that ethereal texture. We're gonna take it, we're gonna scale that down. Like that. Where is the option for this? That's perfectly fine looking. Now what I want to do... Here we go. Right, feather edges. That. And if we take the background color. Let's do this. Parent. That's a pretty shitty quality thing, but that looks good. We'll overwrite the bowl. Now, if we get UV. Oh. We got a little bit close somewhere. Okay, let's trim it a bit. Bring this up. Good. 
this. We're going to add an alpha channel. Now if we, now if we Export the bowl and replace it. All right, we're gonna do some other stuff here. So we're gonna go over here. All these set the closest. They don't look closest. Yes, it is. Alright, I'm a cheat and I'm just gonna. We're gonna do some stuff like this. We're gonna append a material from a different place. We're gonna go here. Uh, let's see here. Projects, floating island. It seems here. Materials. I could go with dock wood. I'll try wood grain. I like that. edit mode we're going to export this unit layout I'm going to extra paint we're going to edit this externally this then we're going to then drop that in and we're going to copy this this are we here? ah there we go that to milk. <laughs> milk. Going to go to render. 
render render animation. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. And I'm about done. Flat my thighs together. <laughs> yeah, like that. And if we feel like it, we can even. This is what we can end up making. I'm gonna let this render and we will... I'll be right back. And that sure does take a while to load, don't it? Render. But I think we did. About done rendering, we have it 145, we only have about, about 100 frames left. Not that bad. I also need to look at how to make this work with, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll see how this looks with diffuse textures instead of um, the textures I'm currently using. Because with diffuse textures, uh, it'll, it'll definitely change how everything looks, because it'll remove a lot of detail that I currently have set up. 
With that, that is all she wrote. Bam. Perfect. Let's do a test with all the Hi Rose. Breakfast use demo. I'm going to select all of these and we're going to swap them to a diffuse shader. Use uh Texture. Nope. Use. The some sweat. Set this to diffuse texture. Ugh. Uh, use texture bacon. That's the already white. This a little bit extra. And since we're not using subsurface scattering, we just turn that off, and that will save us a lot of time. Let's just shut it. Time. I'm just gonna do two more renders. I'm gonna do this one with the fuse, and then I'm going to do uh, same this same render. We have milk, cereal, and an orange and egg, a spoon, a fork, and two pieces of bacon. Oh, read as a robot. A milk, cereal, an egg, an orange, spoon, a fork, and two pieces of bacon. Oh, hello, cat. Ah, uh, yes, hello. My cat has come into the room. Hello. Meow, meow, meow. You feel bad for cutting my hand up? Man, that hurts. Throw the poke out me hands. Throw the poke out me hands. Anyone else? This way. I have to go out the window. Oh, well. That's a bad thing to get out of. You try to wake me up to get let out that way. Oh. I need to make dinner. I need to. Up, oh, it's almost time.
Boom, that's all she wrote. That's done. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna render one more. 100. I did big fucking stupid mess up. I thought I hit enter when I did the diffuse shading. I suppose all we really need to compare is the low res. Refresh. This is what we got. We're not missing much, but there is detail mess. Why we eat cereal with egg and bacon? Because we hungry. Revert. How much do I lose? Save this as breakfast. I don't lose anything. Yeah, pretty far. Well, <laughs> probably help to not revert back to breakfast too. We didn't lose. All right, I think I'm good. I ain't got enough for what we needed. 
we are going to end the stream for here. Did good. And with that, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. Uh, goodbye. Oh yeah, uh, Brian, so did you uh, see the intro that I did? I made I made a new intro for my um, uh, Blender tutorial series. I want to show that off if you haven't seen it. I'm going to show it off here. I'll just turn that off. Alright, watch this. If you're, if you're familiar with the PlayStation 1, it's literally just the PlayStation 1 intro, so... I'll show you. Okay, basically just this. stole it <laughs> so that we're gonna i'm gonna start i'm gonna stop now goodbye everybody